You don't need paid ads to grow a business, but you don't have to avoid them either. Today's video is going to answer the question of when you should and should not be using paid ads in your business. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your ads if you choose to use them so that make sure you stay tuned until the end. If you are new to the channel, my name is Mike Lacetta. I run a marketing funnel agency specifically for dog trainers so that they can earn more and do what they love without the headaches of running a business. The first thing we need to understand is why do people push to use paid ads so much? Right? I see it all over social media. I see it all over these, these gurus of marketing. They're like, you have to use paid ads. You have to use paid ads. You have to use paid ads. Paid ads have a time and place. They have their strengths, but they also have their weaknesses. So why don't we look at the pros and cons and kind of decide for ourselves? Sound good? Let's do it. So our pros here. Pros are fast return on investment, objective measuring, all right, automated prospecting, and we get to validate our ideas. Here's what it means. Fast return on investment. You put money out there. You put $100 out there. You are immediately going to know if you made a return on your investment. Did I get $100 back? Yes or no, right? It's fast. You could do that in the morning, and by the end of the day, you know if your ads are working. Objective measuring. We know if our offer is working right, if our ads are working right, how much money we can spend. There, there's a, a very direct correlation, as long as you do it correctly, there's a very direct correlation between how much you put in and how much you get out. Automated prospecting. A lot of dog trainers do not want to go knocking door to door, go to conventions, or cold call people for hours and hours every day. They want to train dogs. That's why they got into the business. So if you can automate your prospecting and getting new clients by making a few short videos and then uploading them, isn't that better, right? That's the pro of using advertisement. You also get to validate your ideas. You want to come out with a book. You want to come out with a new program. You want to come out and you know you don't want to make the video course forced. Uh, first, you just want to make sure the idea is good. Well, you can say, hey, if you're interested in this, pre-order it now. And that becomes the the ad the vehicle that you're going to use and if nobody's interested you know that you're not going to waste your time making that program maybe you have to tweak something maybe the messaging is off maybe the, the topic itself is off right if you're trying to teach how to get your dog to walk on three legs well that might be interesting to a handful of people but the vast majority you're trying to work with might not be interested in that maybe they just want to learn how to walk their dog on a leash without getting pulled so you get to validate your ideas now let's shift over to the cons here. Number one, you need money to start. That, I mean, that's that's a given, right? You're paying for ads. You need money to start. If you're starting out, you haven't made any money yet, don't pay for ads. You're just going to go down and down and down and down into a very deep debt. All right? It's easy to mess up. That's number two, easy to mess up. At any point, any part of the ad could go wrong. All right, you spent way too much trying to get the person, the hook wasn't right, your offer isn't right, the link's not sending to the right place. It very quickly could go south. All right, so you got to stay on top of it. Number three, you are a slave to the platform. Depending on which platform you are using will determine your techniques and how you do things. And so that means you have to learn all these new techniques each time you switch platforms. Some people get really honed in on one platform specifically, and then they don't diversify. If you do that, you also are a slave to the platform, right? Because you are subject to any and all changes that that platform makes. If they want to randomly charge you 10 times more to get a client, you are stuck uh, in a hole. If they want to change their political beliefs and they don't like you for whatever particular reason, boom, now you are done for. Right? You, you have nothing. And you haven't diversified, so you really have nothing. And that takes us to the last one there is the high cost per acquisition. If I'm using Facebook ads or Google ads or YouTube ads, they're all going to have different costs of acquisition. That means if on Facebook it costs me $5 to get somebody to click on my link in order to check out my website or my funnel, $5 is relatively high, but it can also go higher than that. So let's say Google, because it's very competitive of trying to get dog trainers to rank high on Google, it's $50 for someone to click on your link. Well, can you afford that? Well, we're going to talk about how to do that in a little bit. And YouTube, same thing. If I if 
it costs me one dollar well i'm probably going to want to you do uh, do youtube but i should diversify i should do all of them so the high cost of acquisition is difficult and if you're trying to compete with other people and they can spend more than you well then you lose right if uh, there's a, there's a person sitting there and the algorithm says well business a and business b both want to show this person their stuff but business A wants to pay us more money or has no problem paying us more money, we're going to give it to business A. And you end up being business B, you lose. You're not going to get in front of that person. And that person might have been the perfect person for you. So that doesn't work, right? So that being said, who are ads for? Ads are for literally everybody. Literally everybody uh, should be using ads to some extent, right? It doesn't have to be uh, your entire marketing plan, and it shouldn't. Again, we want to diversify, but we want to get good at it. So everybody should do it to some extent. If you want to grow your business quickly, then you need to use ads to a certain extent, especially if you're trying to grow it quickly, right? There is a specific way to do it. Again, we're going to talk about that in a few, like literally a few moments, all right? <laughs> so that you don't lose money, uh, and we're going to talk about it. If you're just starting out, it does help you validate your ideas and it allows you to measure your progress and prospecting method, your hook, your story, and offer. All those pros and cons that we talked about, right? If you're just starting out, it's absolutely perfect. If you are established already, you have a business, maybe you've been in business for a couple of years and you're doing the old school prospect, uh, prospecting techniques, you're going to conventions, you're calling people, your word of mouth, those kinds of things, all paid ads are going to do is add more fuel to the fire. You're going to get more clients. You could charge more money. You could hire more trainers, whatever it is. It's also going to help you push out all those things that for whatever reason you've been holding on to on your business. Maybe it's an old offer. Maybe it's discounts that you think work but aren't actually working. And it's going to help you push all of those things out so you can bring new, exciting stuff in. All right? So now we're going to talk about how to use them correctly. All right? Give me one second to pull it up here. Got to change our screen. All right. All right. So this is this is literally the only way you should be running your marketing, and your yeah, this is the only way you should be using your paid advertisements. Okay. If you do not understand this concept, do not get into paid advertisements. It's just not going to work. All right. It, you're going to be spending money that you don't have trying to get people who aren't interested in this just not going to work okay the first thing you need to do is identify who your very very specific people are okay and i don't want you to just go well i want to work with dog owners well that's not going to work all right you need to talk to dog owners who are interested in self-help and love reading that way you can sell your book on self-guided study on dog training Boom, there you go. So you want to pick kind of three categories. You don't really want to go more than that because it gets very confusing. But you want to pick three categories that you can meld together and get the person that's right in the middle, like a Venn diagram, right? Yeah, Venn diagram. We got multiple circles. They should overlap, and that's the specific person that you're going to be targeting, okay? And you can do that depending on the different platform you are. There are going to be different restrictions and rules on how to target those people. But you have to have a specific person in mind, and your offer should align perfectly with their problems and needs. The second piece is creating a lot of different ads, all targeting that same person. And you're going to follow this framework, hook, story, offer. You're going to hook them in with something that grabs their attention. It could be a dog. It could be a photo. It could be a, a certain line, a phrase that you use. It could be something exciting. It could be something dramatic and dull, right? It could be anything as long as it hooks their attention. You're then going to tell them a story, not any random story, of course, but a story that aligns with them. It needs to relate with them. It could be a success story. It could be your story of to how you came to be and why what you do now pertains to them specifically. And then finally, hook story offer. The offer is not your offer in that moment. That, that would be a mistake. What you're going to do is tell them to go check out the offer. They're going to go learn more. They're going to click the button and schedule a call with you, whatever it may be. All you're trying to do is get them to the next step, and that is step three. You must drive them specifically to a funnel that you know converts, and that's what we're looking at 
right here. What we're looking at is a funnel that we know converts, and that is the secret to paid advertising. If you do not have a funnel that you know works, ads are useless. And don't take people's word for it when they say, oh, well, you know, Google and Coca-Cola and PetSmart, they just put ads up on TV and it just says, hey, we're fantastic. We're amazing. And then it goes to the next ad. You don't want to do that, right? Ads in, for a small business, particularly, or a dog trainer, you want to drive them to something that we know converts. We have to get a lead out of it, right? One of the pros of the advertisement was those objective measurable standards. If we can't measure it, we cannot improve it. So if you're just making ads for brand awareness, it doesn't make any sense, okay? So this is what I mean by driving them to a funnel. We have uh, Facebook or Google ads or whatever it is over here on the left. We're going to drive them to a sales page that we know converts. Now, I, <laughs> I put a terrible conversion rate here. It's 0.1%. 0.1%. If you literally get one person out of a 1,000 people to buy this service, and it's $500, right? Let's say it's a, a month-long training program. It's 500 bucks. It's an amazing author, but only one person out of 1,000 people end up buying it, okay? You make one sale of 500 bucks. Now, let's say, and uh, if I click here, you guys should be able to see it, right? It's pretty tiny here. 1,000 visitors, okay? But if I go in here, it costs me 50 cents per person, 50 cents per person who comes to that page, uh, who clicks on it and says, yeah, I'm interested, 50 cents, 50 cents, 1,000 people, that would be $500. This is what's called a break-even funnel. We know that if we spend $500 and we get 1,000 people to that page, we will make one sale of $500. Doesn't that sound really easy, like that simple math? Yes. We know this funnel works which means we now know no matter how much money we put in, as long as for every 500 bucks we put in, we get a thousand people to visit our funnel, we will break even and be profitable. The secret then is, one, how can I either get more people for my $500 or get a thousand people for less than $500? That is then how you make a profit. The third way to do it is by upselling them, which you can go check out the other videos I've made on upselling and follow-up funnels and all that kind of stuff that you should have in your business anyway. That is how you use advertisements. If you are not using them, you need to. <laughs> you need to, okay? It's not a question of if you should. It's a question of how you should. And you just learned how, the very, very basic, basic understanding of it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you learned, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. If you have questions on marketing and growing your dog training business, whether it's marketing, operations, sales, funnels, whatever it may be, put it down in the comment sections. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.